Thanks very much for joining. This video is as requested by several viewers on the live chat show. Uh, last night, as I record this on January 23rd of 2024, I'd be happy to show anyone who's interested how to configure the buttons and all the settings here within the PlusTech Optic Slim A3 flatbed scanner. It's a scanner that I use for all my larger items, the large print ads, um, record covers I can even put on there, album covers, 78 covers, 78s themselves, records themselves, magazines as a whole, postcards even. Just about anything you can imagine fits on this really large flatbed scanner. The very first step is pretty obvious, but it bears mentioning. We're going to have to launch the program itself, which is this uh, button configuration for the PlusTech Optic Slim A3 series. If you're on a Windows computer, uh, you'll just see in the bottom right the notification screen. You'll see a little icon for it. You can right-click on it and then just scroll up and hit uh, button configuration. You'll be brought to this screen right here. I know it probably looks a little bit confusing, but I promise you it's very easy. And the good news is that once these configurations are set up, you can pretty much just use it over and over. You don't have to change anything. And another quick caveat here is that these optimizations are really set up for print ads. That's what the majority of the people that are watching my video series any will probably be using it for. But again, it can be used for across many, many different types of products. Right here at the top, we'll start on the button template part. I recommend you select File Utility. You can see there's some other options up here. Select File Utility. Description is sort of canned, but you have the ability to go in and change it if you want. So you could just put Scans and save that. That'll save. The File Saving folder is pretty important. You just click on this little box with the dots on it and you'll be taken to kind of a tree of your entire computer system. And this is where you can basically tell uh, the program where you want to have your images saved to. I've created a print ad folder here. You could do whatever you'd like. You could even make a new folder right on the spot if you'd like. You can see that. I'm going to cancel that out though. So that's just going to, again, direct the images to a specific folder wherever you want to have all of your scans put in. So go ahead and take care of that. Select anything you'd like. The file name. I have mine set up here for user defined, which is basically just year, month, date. And what that means essentially is that every time you do a scan, it's going to follow that format. You can see this example here. That's how this uh, file is going to be notated. Today's date, the time, 15, 28, 3, 28 p.m., and then it's object number 30. I just choose to use the date thing. It's really not important to me what it's titled, the scans, because I'm just going to be uploading them to listings on eBay and then deleting them. So choose whichever one works for you best. Hit OK. This is pretty important, uh, the file format. In my case, I choose to use JPEGs. You could see that you have other options. You have a P uh, PNG file, which uses up a little more information. I think it's kind of overkill when it comes to uh, scanning for the purposes of uploading images over to eBay. But if you wanted to scan something else, like maybe some photos or something important just for personal use, PNG is a little bit of a higher quality. Basically, I just select all of the options for JPEG, black and white, grayscale, and color. Flatbed Reflective is going to be my option right here. This is also important. We're going to tick one of these buttons. You can see the only one that's actually set up right now is Auto Density. I also select Auto Crop. The reason I do that is, again, these ads are, you know, different sizes, and the flatbed is a lot larger than all of the ads. Even my biggest ads, the, the scanning surface is actually much bigger. And this Auto Crop feature is really nice because it'll go in and just create a crop around the image, whether it's a, the size of a matchbook or the biggest ad you could find. Nice enhancement there. Just select that if you choose to. That's what I do. All of this stuff, I would just mirror exactly what I have if you want to use your scanner for the purposes of scanning uh, print ads once again. So just copy this, maximum scan area, color is what I choose all the time. I'm not going to do black and white scans. Document type default. Here's your resolution. You can see I have it set to 300 dpi. I find that that works amazingly well. The images come out really clear. These settings I kind of leave alone. I just have them set at default right in the middle. The brightness, contrast, gamma, threshold, descript, uh, descreen, and filter are all on none. So that is really all there is to it. You could hit apply if you made any changes. If you're starting from scratch, obviously, you'll want to have this all saved and then hit apply. And let me just go back up to this description field because this is a good part to bring up. If you want to save a setting like or a series of settings like I have right now, you could just go ahead and title this anything. I'll put uh, print add scans and then I'll hit apply. And now that 
is an automatic description. So every time I go in and use this utility again, I scan it, it's gonna be set up with all of these settings maintained and it's under the title of print ad scans. All right, and that pretty much wraps up this basic introductory video. It just kind of helps you hopefully set up your utility uh, for scanning of the print ads. If anybody has any more questions or needs something explained in more detail, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to go ahead and get into more detail. I'll try to answer it right in the comment. And if anybody needs another video, please let me know. I really appreciate it when you guys reach out to me and let me know, you know, what sort of content you would like to see. If you haven't had a chance yet, please do leave a thumbs up on this video before you leave. It really helps the video out a lot and the performance here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, I would be honored if you would consider doing so, joining the fun. We do live shows twice a week. We do all sorts of videos like this, talking about ephemera and other cool things here for eBay sellers like myself and hopefully like you guys. Again, thank you very much for joining. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.